Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get your printer back online if for some reason it's showing that it's not online. This tutorial will be pretty quick and right to the point, so we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is head over and left click on the start button to open it up once. And now you want to type in devices. And the best manager comes up on Windows 10 should be devices and printers right above control panel. You want to left click on it once to open it up. Now you want to go underneath the printer section right here. If the printer section is collapsed and it looks like this, just click on this little arrow to drop down and display all of your printers that are installed on your computer. Now you want to select the printer that is your default printer. So you're going to have to just pay attention and look at what name of the printer is being displayed here. In most people's instances, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Often there will be a check mark next to the printer or part of the image that will display that it is the default printer. And most of the time, the printer that is causing the issue will be the default printer. So once you have selected that printer, you want to right click on it and then left click on printer properties. You do not want to click on the properties button at the bottom here. You want to left click on printer properties And now you want to left click on the ports tab at the top. And now for the port on the left side, there should be a port that has a check mark next to it. You want to make sure this one is selected by left clicking on it once. And then you want to left click on configure port right here. Underneath SNMP status enabled, you want to uncheck this box. Click on OK. You can close out of this window as well as the devices and printers window. I recommend restarting your computer, turn your printer back on, and hopefully your printer problems have been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.